Wouldn't your life be so much easier if you could learn anything faster? Here's exactly how. The first step, you must develop an entrepreneurial mindset. I'll tell you what it is in a sec, but first look at this situation. Ah, oh, I only have 15 minutes. I can't learn anything in that time. I'll just take a break and see what's on Instagram. Awesome. I have 15 minutes. I can do a couple practice problems and review the answer explanations. Every bit counts. Notice how these two people have the exact same circumstance but very different outcomes. In just those 15 minutes, Hermione will not only have learned more, but she will also have practiced learning faster. And just like Atomic Habits, accumulating those 15 minutes over time is going to lead to Hermione being way more ahead than Ron. Not only in how much she knows, but she is going to become even faster and faster at learning. How? Exercise time, leave what you think down in the comments. It's super important for you to be your own coach and be able to analyze and pick out learnings for yourself. So pause the video and leave your answer. I'll wait. Okay, it all comes down to your mindset. I experienced this firsthand because I got fives on all 11 AP exams. I was valedictorian and I was a varsity athlete all at the same time. So I had to figure out how to learn faster. That way I could still do all of this while having a social life and sleeping an average of eight hours a night. I also got a 4.0 in chemical engineering at Caltech, one of the hardest universities in the world. It's because the way I thought about things was different, just like Hermione in our example. Now, if you have been lovely enough to subscribe, hint, hint, you might have already heard of the yin yang concept where action and mindset propagate each other like a cycle. If you lack the right mindset, any action you take is less likely to succeed. So who do you want to be, Ron or Hermione? Now, what's the entrepreneurial mindset? First of all, what's an entrepreneur? This is a person who can recognize opportunities and generate creative ideas. Just like Hermione, they are first and foremost determined and optimistic. Think about why entrepreneurs have to learn and do things faster than everyone else. It's cause number one, they know that the sooner they do it, the sooner they get to success. Their goal is to fail fast so they learn. And number two, they're eager and excited and curious. So this entrepreneurial mindset is essential to startup success and it's the same for learning success. You should see challenges as opportunities, stay resilient and keep a positive attitude. Now that you have the right mindset down, it's time to understand how to actually learn faster. Number one, build your foundation. Think about the construction workers putting up a new building, okay? If they don't dig deep into the ground and set that foundation first before laying on the bricks and wood, etc., then their building is going to fall over. All of those bricks of hard work they put on the ground would fall over without the foundation. This is the same thing with learning. There is a priority order in which you should be absorbing the information. The Pareto principle or the 80-20 rule states that 80% of the effects comes from 20% of the causes. So your foundation and the basics you learn are that 20%. For example, I get asked all the time, how do I get better at math? But in these two videos, I explained that essentially in math and science, especially these STEM subjects, you have to fully grasp the foundation and the easier levels of math before you start doing things like calculus. I will tutor students in pre-calculus and they find it so hard. And when I dig down to the root cause, I realize it's because they don't know how to do things like divide fractions. So you can imagine that if you don't understand the basics, every new thing you try to learn on top of that will be harder and slower to actually take in. In fact, skipping ahead won't be retained and it will be a waste of time. It's boring, but the fundamentals are not only knowing the equations, but it's also understanding why things work. Only then can you build with those tools and then apply them to harder problems and higher, harder levels. Not only does skimping on the basics makes learning harder, but it will actually double the amount of effort because imagine you learn something the wrong way. Well, it's gonna take you twice as much effort to first learn that and then unlearn the wrong way. Because as you might know, bad habits die hard, but here's where you should jump into things sooner. Number two, have a bias toward action. Let me know if you make these two common mistakes. Be honest. One, you over plan and over prepare. Or two, you procrastinate because you want to avoid failure. We're all friends here, so comment below. I'm ready to take control if you're committed to releasing these habits that hold you back. 
It's your claim out into the universe. I heard that's how manifestation works anyway. <laughs> on the first mistake, you might be spending time on tedious tasks that give no real value, so you're not actually learning. This includes perfecting your study timetable, highlighting your notes, making a quiz for yourself, copying your notes, reading the textbook, the list goes on. Instead, just dive into the deep end. Like if you're studying, just go straight into doing practice problems. But Amy, I can't skip doing the tedious stuff. I have to make my own practice problems. And also, then how will I learn from the questions I miss. No problem because that's what Thea can do all for you for free. I've been partnering with Thea for about a year now and so many of you have told me how it has changed your learning game. Especially with AP and IB exams coming up in May, Thea is a free resource to help you prepare more efficiently than ever. Start by entering your class. You can directly choose your AP or IB course. Thea has already preloaded College Board AP and IB core subject material so you can get straight to practicing. No more spending time digging up thick AP prep books or making your own active recall questions. Every course has a study kit for each unit as well as a full exam study kit. Thea has built in games like a matching game to help you learn vocabulary and their smart study feature makes studying more fun. They feed you questions that are adapted to your specific level, making sure that it's just challenging enough for you so you're progressing and engaged. By choosing your difficulty level and the type of questions you want, you can target exactly the problems you may be asked on the real thing. Under each question, they provide helpful answer explanations and you can always click for more details. All of the questions you answer will be available later so you can look back and review for spaced repetition. Further, you can customize your own mock exams, which are super important to take to reduce test anxiety. Thea cares about its students, so it's super accessible, available in over 80 languages, and again, free. Make studying fast faster and more fun with Thea. Check it out with the link in my description. Woo, so tackling the second mistake, procrastination. Here's one of the biggest mistakes students make that causes them to procrastinate. Do you feel bad about failing? Well, if you feel bad about failing, you will therefore see failure as something to avoid and therefore be afraid to start in the first place because you want to avoid failure. But guess what? Failure is good. I want you to imprint that in your mind. Failure is good. That's because you learn a lot more from failing than from succeeding. All you have to do is try your best and there's absolutely no regret and no reason you should feel bad about yourself. That's just one mental reframe that will help you stop procrastinating. Reducing this habit is all about mindset shifts. And that's why I made a seven day newsletter series where I show you how to beat procrastination by conquering your self doubt and fear. It's completely free. So transform into your best self with a link in my description. Awesome. So you got bias toward action, which helps you learn by doing, and this ties into maximizing conversion rate. I talked all about this in my efficiency video, but conversion rate equals output divided by input. For example, you may think you're productive watching study and productivity videos all over YouTube, but what is your conversion rate? That is your tips consistently executed over tips you heard. Then for learning, your conversion rate is knowledge retained over knowledge consumed. Your goal is to actually absorb, internalize information in less time. Notice how the denominator is consume. It's not the same thing as absorb because imagine you flip through a hundred textbook pages, but you don't get a single thing from it. Let's look at the math because numbers don't lie. If your conversion rate is 20% and you study for five hours, that's the same as if your conversion rate was 50% and you study for only two hours. So legitimately those thumbnails you see on YouTube of like, oh, five hours arrow to two hours, that's actually not a lie. You can actually cut down the amount of time you study in half or even less if you increase your conversion rate. Your teacher might have showed you this in school, but there's actually a learning pyramid that shows you exactly the most effective and ineffective methods of studying. As you move down the pyramid, your conversion rate increases. Edgar Dale, the creator of this pyramid, calls these percentages knowledge retention rates, same thing as conversion rate. And oh my gosh, isn't it so cool that both Edgar Dale and I realize the same concept, but independently? Now, I'm not a learning expert like Edgar Dale, but this just shows the power of learning by doing and that you are smart enough to figure out all of the study tips you see on the internet. You see, when I was in school, I simply tried reflected and iterated. In doing that, I realized myself that I should maximize my conversion rate. The tips you learn, even if from different sources, just make sense. It's like a universal truth. Thus, coincidentally, the tips I learned myself are the ones that actually match up with science or theory. Again, that's why I always say to coach yourself. It's more efficient that way. Number four, brain max. 
I've heard this Gen Z language floating around like looks maxing. So I'm calling this brain maxing. Hopefully that doesn't already exist. This seems so obvious, but so many students will sacrifice sleep and their own health and eat unhealthy food and then expect their brain to work at full capacity and absorb things quickly. So this is where you will actually not be like the stereotypical Silicon Valley entrepreneurial entrepreneur. You shouldn't be the startup guy that pulls all-nighters, sleeps on the floor of the office, and eats McDonald's every meal. Instead, keep your brain healthy and maximize its capacity and therefore retention rate by sleeping enough, nourishing your body. For example, there are actually brain foods like walnuts and blueberries and a list right here. Also exercise. You may think that when you're playing basketball and running plays that you're not actually learning and doing anything good for your brain, but it's a neural reset. I find that when I had sports practices that I was able to just let my brain take a break and feel refreshed such that when I went back to study, I was actually faster. Learning faster isn't about brute force techniques or a laundry list of XYZ tips, but it's about having holistic habits and a holistic way of approaching your life to make it the best one it can be. Like one of my awesome subscribers, Just A Human, commented that when they developed healthy habits like meditating and journaling, their grades automatically got so much better. Like these habits are not directly tied to studying, but they will improve your grades and in a more happy, sustainable way too. I share so much more about holistic habits and the right mindsets in my free seven day transformation guide. So you can get it with a link in my description. We already talked about the golden mindset, which is the entrepreneurial mindset, but here's the golden attitude per se. You can do it if you tried. Repeat after me. I can do it if I tried. No one out there is smarter than you. Actually, statistically, statistically. I'm tired of this grandpa. Actually, statistically speaking, you are much smarter than you think. You need to look at anyone successful and be like, Psh, I can do that too. But instead of being a negative, Psh, I can do that too. You empower yourself to actually do it. And here's a prime example that it's actually simpler than you think. Jasmine was originally not going to study like everyone else, but then she watched my video and she realized that if she did put in the effort that she would get the desired output. And therefore the no brainer is to just put in the effort. In other words, just put in the right input for a desired output you already know you can get. It's a simple input and output equation. People ask me all the time, Amy, how do you work so hard? And here's my answer. Because I know it will pay off. So why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you take the opportunities in front of you and give yourself the dream life you know you can have? Awesome job, give yourself a pat on the back. Remember to join the free seven day challenge so you can also learn all the secrets to time management, making the right friends, and of course, beating procrastination. Also check out Thea with the link in my description. It's a super fun and efficient way to study for exams like the AP and IB ones. Ooh, it is getting hot now. I hope you don't see my pit stains, but I'm so excited that spring is coming. Winter is nice, but you know, it gets a little sad. You know, how's the weather going on where you are right now? I'd love to know. I keep asking you to comment, but you know, it's cause I want this to be a two way street, you know? Okay, final thing. Winners know that action and mindset are yin and yang. Remember that and you always win no matter what. Good job, A team. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you at the top. Till next time. Okay, <laughs> fire alarms. Ah, this lighting is so good today. It's like 4.20 p.m. Granted, it's sunnier. It's like spring now in New York. And so that's why the lighting is better. I love it. This is a reference from for, for in the future. Not that I'm going to be staying at this apartment much longer. Because <laughs> I love these earrings. Okay, everything's just good. Okay, sirens are gone. Now that oh, sirens going off. Now that you have the right <laughs> new building. Okay, so if they don't dig hundred, not hundreds, like, Feats, I can't speak, knocks.